What's going on lads and lasses? Welcome back to 100% Mag. So of course it ended down the Sanford Bridge last night. Chelsea 3, Newcastle United 2. And I've got to say the scoreline did not reflect the way the game played out. I thought Newcastle played really well in the game last night. Uh, of course there was a lot of um, entertainment on show in the game last night as well. Uh, the opening goal of the game was scored by Paul Palmer, of course, uh, deflected in off of Nicholas Jackson. So you could probably say it was Nicholas Jackson's goal. That came, of course, because Sven Bartman's quite clearance uh, out of the box. He should have probably left it for Martin Dubravka, to be honest. Looking at it back on the replays uh, and looking at it during the match, you know, it looked like uh, Bartman should have definitely left it for Dubravka. But he didn't. He tried to clear it away. Paul Palmer ended up pouncing on it. And then, of course, it ended up being uh, deflected into the back of the net past uh, Nicholas Jackson to put Chelsea 1-0 up six minutes into the game. But even with Chelsea scoring that goal in the game, uh, we still looked really good in the game. I thought we we'll put in a really good shift. There was a couple of players that I thought could have pulled their weight a little bit more in the game uh, last night, of course. Uh, Dan Byrne had a couple of bad uh, moments in the game. Sean Longstaff, absolutely off his game last night, uh, very bad passes all over the place, uh, short passing right, left and centre, uh, but of course it was around about the 42nd, 43rd minute mark and we're seeing of course Isak equalising up for Newcastle in the game, uh, offering an assist by Bruno, a fantastic goal from the edge of the box as well uh, for Isak to level it up in the game for it before the break. Uh, we'll come out for the second half and it's the 57th minute mark that we we'll see Cole Palmer restore the lead for Chelsea in the game uh, after a pass from Enzo Fernandez. Uh, then, of course, around the 76th minute mark, we we'll see uh, Mudrick coming off the bench for Chelsea. Took the ball off of his teammate, Conor Gallagher. Found his way through the Newcastle defence. Found his way past Martin Dubravka. And, of course, uh, Tino Liverman or tracing back, trying to clear it off the line. Ends up going in off the Tino Livermento and Chelsea go 3-1 up in the game. And then, of course, uh, the 90-minute mark, we see Jacob Murphy uh, score an absolute screamer uh, against Chelsea, offering an assist from Lewis Miley. Uh, but, unfortunately, <clears throat> it wasn't to be. Uh, you know, it wasn't to be last night. Uh, Pochettino's men hung on to their uh, lead in the game and managed to pick up their 11th win of the season so with that being said uh, it now means that Chelsea remain 11th in the table with a game in hand on Newcastle uh, who are of course one point above in a place above uh, in the table over Chelsea as well we are and we are now exactly at the time of recording this video uh, three points off of West Ham who sits seventh and seven points off of Man U who sit sixth in the table but unfortunately, last night we're also seeing uh, yet again more injury uh, to the Newcastle lineup. Of course, we're seeing Bucky not being able to play last night because he came out with a slight hamstring injury. Uh, of course, Eddie talked about that a little bit after the game, and he says Harvey against Wolves uh, when he came on just felt a hamstring tightness scanned the area and don't think it's bad but it's enough to keep him out tonight and probably against Man City the potential return from of course will be the 30th of March big Dan Byrne as well uh, picking up a bit of a knock and ended up having it come off in the game as well uh, but anyhow after the game of course said I think Byrne is okay but I don't know that 100% uh, potential return for Dan Byrne of course according to reports is the 16th of March, so hopefully he will be back for that one because that will be the game against Man City in the cup. And then, of course, the most important and probably the worst looking one of the bunch last night was, of course, uh, Anthony Gordon Flash, uh, who ended up going off, of course, and it looks like it is a knee problem. It looks like it's not great, uh, to be honest, by the looks of it, because you could see during the match, you know, the physio try to stretch out the leg and it just was not going to go. Uh, Anthony Gordon immediately telling the physio no. 
uh, on that and he ended up coming off so hopefully you know um it isn't as bad as it looks hopefully it's just a little bit of um you know tension in the muscle area and you know we'll get Anthony Gordon uh fully fit for the games coming up because we've got Man City in the cup coming up and then of course we've got the running of 10 games left now in the season uh so let's see you know what we can do hopefully we can get a European place this season if not then you know next season we go again to try and get Europe and you know we'll be playing next season without European football if of course we don't get that European place but I still have faith that we can get that European place we're not that far off and of course you've still got that added European places to be added in yet as well uh, due to the coefficient uh, course as well if the teams in Europe do well which they are doing pretty well at the moment and of course you do have uh, what happens with the cups as well if of course we're happy to make it all the way to the final we do have to get past Man City first and a few of our teams to get there but if we do happen to make it all the way to the final and we do happen to win the FA Cup then of course we would get a European place off of that so let us know your thoughts anyway down in the comments below and um, remember to hit like share subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 2.5k subscribers uh, but it just wasn't uh, the best of games last night down at Stamford Bridge and for quite a few different reasons the referee again uh, was very one-sided that I thought uh, but let us know your thoughts you know down in the comments below and I'll see you all for the next one however that's